Hello and welcome to another tool introduction. Today I want to show you a tool called Light Mixer. This tool will let you mix and modify your light group AOVs in, uh, in a simple interface. So what this node does, it subtracts an AOV from the beauty and uh, does the edits and then combines it back to the beauty. Uh, I will take a minute and show you how this thing works. Uh, let me just make a room and we can use a shuffle and uh, shuffle out one of the light group AOVs, for example this key light. Uh, and uh, we need to subtract it from the beauty and then add it back to the beauty. I'm setting the operation to plus uh, and uh, when I enable disable these two merge not, uh, not, nodes it does nothing but now I can edit the light group here uh, and uh, see, the, see the changes. So this, this node does this uh, subtraction uh, method internally. So let's look at the nodes interface. So the interface is very simple. Uh, you need to select an AOV that you want to change. Click on select AOV uh, and uh, this pop-up dialog will appear and you can search for an AOV or just uh, select an AOV from the, from the list of AOVs. Let's select this key light and press OK. Here are the parameters to control the light group. Uh, the, uh, these are just like the, the controls for the lights. So you can imagine this uh, as uh, just controlling your your lights in a 3D application, but in real time in Nuke. So this has color, uh, intensity, uh, and uh, exposure. Uh, you also can search for AOVs. Uh, if I set this uh, ser search option, I can search with a string with this uh, three method: uh, starts, ends, uh, ends, and contains. So uh, all my AOVs have this uh, RGBA string in common. So if I uh, write here RGBA and uh, leave this uh, starts uh, on. Uh, so all my AOVs uh, are starting with uh, RGBA and if I click OK, uh, this is uh, all my AOVs. Uh, so the, the orange uh, is the name of the AOV uh, and uh, here I have a place for a string. This, this does nothing. nothing. Uh, this is uh, just, just for me if I uh, want to write a simple note here. We have these three, button, uh, three buttons. Uh, S means solo. I can uh, solo any light that I want. Uh, M means mute. I can mute my lights uh, and uh, D means disable. This will disable all the changes that I've done. Uh, for example, I I'm disabling this uh, modification on this fill light. Uh, and this inject uh, checkbox will inject back uh, our modifications into, into the uh, EXR channels. For example, if I put a shuffle here and uh, shuffle out my fill light, uh, I can see that my uh, modifications, the, the red color, uh, is present in, in this AOV. Uh, but if I uh, un just uh, uncheck this inject, it will go to, to its default look. Uh, so let's leave this on. And this is the basic controls that, that we have here. And you can find these controls in uh, your uh, 3D application. Uh, in almost all uh, 3D rendering applications have these controls for lights. Uh, for example, if we go to Maya, and select a light. Uh, this, this is the fill light. I can see that I have color, intensity, and exposure, and these parameters are also here. And if I uh, change a light, for example, set the exposure uh, to 2 and uh, make it purple, uh, I can uh, replicate this effect in Maya by just uh, copying this, uh, these numbers uh, to there. So uh, I increased the exposure by 2. Let's do it here. Let's start the rendering and increase by 2, so it will be 13, and also uh, make, uh, make it purple. So the green channel is 0.4 and, uh, and this will be exactly the same look as in Nuke. So uh, this can also be uh, very useful for uh, lighting artists if you want to play, uh, play with your uh, lighting setup in real time and then replicate it in Maya. Just, just copy the values uh, from Nuke to Maya. So all these light edits uh, will be physically correct. And uh, this is like in the ideal situation, in my opinion, this is all uh, you need to, to con the CG, just, just play with uh, light groups. You, but you also can um, work with other AOVs uh, in this tool, uh, you, just, just any AOV. Uh, for example, I have here Diffuse and Specular. I can select the Diffuse AOV and change it uh, intensity or or uh, colorize it, but will but this will break the physicality. Let's remove this for now. Also, we have a thing called artistic control. Uh, this will give us uh, a couple of more options, but but this will not be physically correct to to do this. For example, let's select this uh, fill fill light. Sorry, uh, let's select this fill light, and uh, with this artistic control, I can see that I have uh, gamma and uh, saturation options available, and I can. 
uh, just play with the gamma. And if I have uh, colored lights, I can also change the saturation. And you can play with these light groups and get any crazy look that you want. You also have this mix parameter and you can use masks to, to mask out the, the portion that you want. And uh, that's, that's basically it. Uh, you can download this tool from the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.